the Old Fashioned Mom Show. I'm your host, Michelle Marie Heineman. And today we're with Daniel Munoz and Joe Palumbo, Broadway's favorite floral design artists. The name of their atelier is called Seasons, a floral design studio right in the heart of the theater district. Aubergine calla lily. Aubergine calla lily. The most romantic flower. The classic red rose. The most sophisticated flower. The white Phalaenopsis orchid. Michelle Marie, what is your favorite flower? My favorite flower, as most of you know, is the hyacinth. I love it so, so much that I named my precious little daughter Hyacinth. Today our guests are Gerald and Daniel and they are the co-owners of this fabulous floral design studio called Seasons and it's really a landmark. Now you two are the stars of Broadway and there's a very true rumor that's been going around for 30 years that you're really nobody until you've received your bouquet on Broadway from Seasons. And I think it's just so extraordinary that you've had this atelier for 30 years. Tell me, tell me about the changes. Tell me about how you started. Well, when we started this store 30 years ago, um, you know, Miss Saigon was just opening on Broadway in its original uh, production. Uh, we've done many cast parties for Broadway shows. Um, we've done fundraising events for galas for the Roundabout Theater. Uh, four years running, we did all the flowers for the Tony Awards. So it's, it's a very natural fit for us. These are our neighbors, these are our friends, and uh, we've really enjoyed being in the heart of New York's Broadway community. It's been a lot of fun. Sometimes when businesses reach such elite status as you have, you know, they forget about some of the other people that may just want a single rose, you know, or one aubergine calla lily. So it's really lovely that, you know, you always cater to everybody. Uh, Daniel was a banker on Wall Street and you really decided to follow your passion, your dream, and tell me what that's like. Well, that was terrific. Just really, uh, all the pressure of Wall Street and do all this banking. It is very interesting, productive. However, you have to follow your dreams, follow your desires. And that's exactly what Flowers did to me because I enjoy every minute of it. And the clients that we have, it brings us all the satisfaction that they really change the career. It was the right thing to do because it's, it's what you love. I couldn't agree with you more, you know, and I feel like even as a society, we're starting to go in that direction about following your dreams, following your passions. What is the largest party you've thrown an event for? Well, we've done some very large weddings. Uh, we recently did a large wedding at the Rainbow Room this year for some dear clients of ours. I love the Rainbow Room. And um, it was magical. So it was one of our favorites and, and it's in our memory. But we've done many galas at the Metropolitan Museum of Art, at the Temple of Dendur. We've worked in the, the, uh, all of the museums. Uh, we've done work for the Museum of Natural History. We've done parties at MoMA. Um, 
and also a lot of things at the public library. We have a lot of corporate clients that like to celebrate parties uh, at the public library as well. So we, we do a lot of things, and all of the, the main hotels, all the big hotels. Seasons has two locations, uh, 888 8th Avenue, which is such an amazing address. If you know anything about numerology, it really is quite significant because it means prosperity and luck and good wishes. And how did you get that address? Well, <laughs> and we just stumbled across it. And we found out very soon that it was a, a very uh, fortunate address to have. The other location you have is in Irvington, New York, which is so charming, so picturesque. Tell me about that shop. Well, our shop in, in Irvington is called Seasons on the Hudson. It's one of those Hudson River towns that's just beautiful. Uh, that location has been a flower shop for about 75 years, and we've owned it for a little more than five years. Um, we really cater to the neighbors of, of Irvington, Dobbs Ferry, Terrytown, and those great big grand estates like Lyndhurst Castle is up there, and we do lots of parties and special events there. Um, and it's, it's a, a lovely place to visit. Daniel, tell me, you're from Colombia. What, tell me about the flowers in Colombia. Well, it's very interesting. Uh, flowers, some production of our, the biggest flower in Colombia is the orchids. So that's why we carry many of them. So, uh, the Catalea orchid is the national flower in Colombia. So most of the time in the spring, we carry some of them. Um, it's very interesting, and we use, with my first steps and flowers. It was definitely was in Colombia. Amazing, I know. So many different flowers all over the world. I know you're providing all the flowers for so many films coming up. Tell me about some of the, the films that you're working on. Well, there's a film we're working on now starring an actress called Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. Okay. Uh, romantic comedy. Wonderful. Uh, and we're in the filming process now where we're going to be doing flowers and some special decor items. That's today. wonderful. I know there's a show called Evil that's you're doing that. Exactly. That's on CBS. It's a series uh, by the same people that do The Good Fight and The Good Wife. Uh, we're providing all the flowers for those shows as well. I love this store. It's so gorgeous. It's so fabulous. Um, you two are so nice and so kind and really just so genuine with all the clients. Um, you are now carrying Old Fashioned Mom coffee, so this is something that um, my brand, you know, we're very excited about and I look forward to doing so much with you in the future. Do flowers go in and out of style? Like, is there ever a flower that one year that is so popular, it's all the rage, and then the next year is completely out? Yes, they do. Several years ago there was a, a rose called the Leonidas Rose and it's sort of a tan brownish color rose and it was very popular. Everybody wanted this Leonidas rose uh, in their wedding flowers, in their bouquets, and now it's hardly available to us anymore. Um, it's no, I mean, people have lost interest in it and it's sort of gone by the wayside. So it is common that flowers come in and out of style. We tend to see an influx of more of locally grown things, things like dahlias, and, but also um, Holland is our biggest supplier of flowers. So. How gorgeous. Now do you go so to the big show it. in Holland? We haven't yet. It's on our list. We should all go together. <laughs> no, no, no. Crazy I want to go so bad. Every and year I really do. I want to go. I and just, you bring the coffee. And I'll bring the coffee. Yes. <laughs> you guys are such stars. Thank you for being on the Old Fashioned Mom Show. You can now find Old Fashioned Mom Coffee at Seasons at 888 8th Avenue, a floral design studio, flowers and coffee.